Bad of the time, I was to stick around because we're going to talk about six very important time management skills that you can implement right away. What's up guys, if you haven't been here before, I'm Steve with Steve Invest, here to help real estate agents, real estate brokers, investors, small business owners build their businesses with a path toward financial freedom. But guys, time is finite. I remember when I was younger, I would come home off the bus, see my mother and she would say, you're not going out until you finish your homework. So I immediately was in a rush to go ahead, get my homework done and get out the door. I mean, I had stuff to do. I'm playing manhunt, I'm building ramps to BMX jump over them. I'm building forts. So I, I needed that precious time before I had to go back inside, shower up and go to bed. I think we've all experienced that when we were younger. It's no different these days. We have to be very cautious with our time. So we're gonna dive into six time management tips that's gonna help you and your business as well as overall with your family and friends and so forth to make sure you're spending more quality time with those that you love, but also uh, you're more efficient with your time while you're working. These six tips were written and implemented by a man named Chet Holmes, who wrote The Ultimate Sales Machine. I'm gonna go ahead and put a link down below. It's a great read if you guys wanna get better with your time. But I'm gonna summarize it all for you guys here today. All right, the number one, and this is one that um, I try to implement with my team right away, is touch it once. Meaning, if, if you're not ready to go ahead and tackle that, um, that project, that task, right then and there, then don't touch it. Only touch it one time when you're ready to start that task and end that task. So for example, let's say uh, in the real estate business, you get an email that says, um, home inspection report for property located at whatever, and it's a property you have in contract. Now, if you're, if you're in, the, in the middle of something else and you see that email come through and you're not prepared to deal with reviewing that home inspection report, negotiating maybe a credit or um, you know maybe negotiating certain repairs and so forth, then don't even bother opening up that email. It's just gonna waste your time. Don't even take a look at it until you can allocate and dedicate the right amount of time for that. Now, how can you implement this in, uh, within your team? So when, especially with email, email can be a, a disaster for everybody. So what you're gonna wanna do is instruct your team members, if they're emailing you something, to make sure that that subject line is very, very specific. Being specific in that subject line on your email is gonna give you a deciding factor whether you need to go ahead and open that and address that situation, or if it can wait until you allocated that specific time for that certain task. Number two is create a list for that. So. What uh, Chet Holmes uh, basically explains is you want to have lists in order to accomplish and achieve knocking off um, tasks that you allocated for that day. So what he explains is um, basically break down your priority list into about six different tasks that you have for that day. If that list is too long, psychologically, you're going to feel defeated because you haven't accomplished so much on that list. Number three is allocate the appropriate time for those tasks. So for example, um, if you're going to do follow-up work every morning from say 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock, put that into your schedule. Now between 8 and 9 o'clock during your follow-up time, you, you have to eliminate any and all distraction. That's other emails coming in, that's other outside phone calls, anything that's going to distract any moment of that 8 to 9, that 60 minutes of focused follow-up calls, any distractions you have to eliminate. Number four, plan the day before. So. Um, what you don't want is getting up in the morning and then figure out oh, what the hell do I got to do today? So you want to plan the night before um, Exactly what tasks you're gonna go ahead and accomplish for that next day number five prioritize uh, Most people have the most amount of energy in the morning or, or late morning So you want to put the heavy tasks in the morning uh, even as I film this uh, usually all of my filming time is in the morning because I want to make sure that I have enough energy to be on camera for you guys and somewhat entertaining. Make sure you prioritize um, your heavy tasks in the morning to be able to knock out as quickly as possible. And number six, hold on, the first five, if you like the first five, go ahead and like this video. Appreciate the support. Number six, toss it. I can tell you, you know, we just finished the short sale course and, um, you know, this, this thing was six, seven months in the works. Uh, it was a lot of effort, a lot of time putting into this course for you guys. And I'll, I'll put a link down below for you as well so you can check that out. This, this is the course that I had to type out. I mean, it's probably 60, 70 pages. 
And this thing has been sitting in my, my backpack with everything else. Every time I open my backpack with my laptop, I pull this out. We're done with the course. The course is done out the door, but I'm still holding on to this package of information. Why? I mean, it's got my notes all over it and everything else, but this, this needs to be archived in the garbage or you know in a drawer or something if I wanna keep it for memories of some sort. Um, but anyway, if we're not using certain things around us on our desk and so forth, we need to go ahead and just toss it. All it is is a distraction for you. So anything that is not a priority, it's not part of your task, your daily task, your part of your checklist, get rid of it. If it's been on your desk for probably more than two weeks, odds are you're probably never gonna get to it. So what are you guys doing with your time as a real estate agent? If I followed you around for one full day, one full work day, what would it look like? Would you be embarrassed? Would, would it be impressive? I don't know. Comment in the sections below and let us know. And guys, just remember, time is finite. The more time that we spend really just messing around and, and unorganized is less time that we're spending being productive in our business, but also less time spending with our family. You know, I, I, I preach all the time that you can accomplish a lot in a three hour period more than most people will be able to accomplish in an eight to 10 hour day of work. So time is finite, make sure you're spending it wisely. As always, if you got one good thing from this video, you probably wanna go ahead and subscribe. Appreciate the support, see ya.